The old weather stripping on this door is nailed to the doorstop molding. The old molding doesn't have a groove in which to insert a modern weather stripping seal. I used a sharp utility knife to cut the paint between the doorstop and the door jam. Then pried off the three pieces of door molding from the door jam. I'm refurbishing the door and the wood around the doorway. You just need to remove the doorstop molding. I'm installing MD's door seal kit. The kit comes with a top and two side moldings, weather stripping, and nails. I have two partial damaged kits that I bought at a steep discount. Remove the weather strip from the doorstop molding. If you don't have a miter saw to make an angled cut, transfer the length of the old top piece of molding onto the new piece. Use a sharp pencil to mark the length. The saw blade will take away some of the material. Make sure that you cut on this side of your line. When cut to size, the top piece will have square cuts at each end. The tops of the side pieces are cut in a contoured shape for butt joints. They don't make a great fit. You can try to modify the ends of the top piece and come up with something that looks like this. If using a miter saw, cut a 45 degree angle on one end of the new top piece. Then use the method shown earlier to transfer the size of the old top molding to the new one. Then cut the 45 degree angle on the other side of the new piece. After cutting the two 45 degree angles on my top piece, before cutting the angle on the side pieces, I used a scrap piece of molding and cut a 45 on it. Test fitted the miter joints. They look pretty good. Then transfer the measurements for the two old side pieces to the new moldings and cut them. When you're doing this, be mindful to cut the correct angle on the correct end of the molding. Dry fit the pieces after they're cut and make any adjustments if needed. Measure the thickness of the door. This looks to be about an inch and three quarters. Mark the door width measurement onto the door jam near the latch. The weather strip that comes with the kit is vinyl covering foam. It's not very durable and likely will not hold up well in a location that gets a lot of heat and sun. MD makes a solid vinyl weather strip that fits into the groove of this kit. I haven't been able to find an MD weather stripping kit with this type of weather stripping in it. You might consider upgrading the weather stripping. Install the weather stripping onto the moldings. Tap finish nails into the top, center, and bottom of the latch side molding. Align the edge of the weather strip with the mark you made near the door latch. The 
adjust the molding so that the weather strip slightly compresses against the door. Knock the nail in a bit and test the fit. When satisfied with the fit, repeat this process with the bottom and top nail. Using this method, install the top and other side moldings. If after all three moldings are installed and the door opens and closes correctly, Hammer in about a total of eight nails on each sides piece and four nails on the top piece. Drive the nails in till about an eighth of an inch sticks out, then use a nail set to countersink the nail heads. I hope you find this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, know how now to find other videos, and thanks for watching.